Do you use Tinkercad to design your 3D prints? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you a few tips and tricks. Tinkercad Tips and Tricks is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. In this episode, I'll show you some Tinkercad lessons you probably didn't even know existed. Here's the main Tinkercad screen when you're doing a project. But if we go back to my main Tinkercad, where all my projects and all that are, there's a area over here on the left where it says lessons. Now these are the lessons that I took when I first started with Tinkercad, and there's several different ones here, and all of these are completed. In fact, there's two pages of them. If I click on the second page here, you'll see that some of these are four years old. That's how long I've been doing Tinkercad. I actually was doing Tinkercad before I had a 3D printer. I wanted to understand how to make 3D files before I would print something out. Well, how I got to these is if you go to the very top of your account, there's this item Learn in the menu. You click on that and it takes you to these self-paced training modules. <laughs> And there's a lot of different ones. Here's the three main ones that they show here. Learning moves, camera controls, and creating holes. And then there's actually more here if you click on this big blue button. Let me click on creating holes and I'll show you why these are so easy and handy to get started with Tinkercad. Especially for someone who's a true beginner. So it starts out here, this one. It shows on the left step-by-step -step procedure. So I click on next and then it shows me this hexagon block and it tells me I need to drag the blue polygon into that block. So I do that and I can zoom in here a little bit and show you I just tried to line it up as best I could. And then once that's in place then I go to step two and it says did you know you can change any shape into a hole. And so you come up here and use the hole tool and change that shape into a hole. And then you click next and then it says to group these two together. Now it says to hold the shift key and grab both items. Later on you learn that you can just drag and group together. And, and then I hit the group icon and it groups those two together and then it makes a wrench. <laughs> and it's kind of cool when you see this come alive for you. You go and little stars pop up to, hey you completed the tutorial. But this will then be saved in that area I showed you where all mine were. But there's a whole bunch of, if you go back here and scroll further on this learn page, there's a whole bunch of new ones and these focus on this new beta, um, new, the new beta Tinkercad which has a lot more new features. There's even one here for building a space station. So I'll click on name the keychain. I'm not going to go through this whole thing but it gives you a description of it and then this particular one has two separate lessons within a lesson. So I'll click on start here for the first one where it says create your name from letters. And it's the same thing. It's got a description on the left and a bunch of steps. There's two, there's six steps to this. And it just tells me to first go over here to the right and select the text menu. And here's all the letters that it's asking me to use. And then I'm just going to drag in the letters to make my name. So here's a C and then I got to find the H. And that's what's telling me, just drag these guys in. So here's the H, and let me just speed this up here a little bit. So I'll go to U, and then scroll up to C, and then here to K. Where's K? There's K. And then I dropped all my letters. And now it says, continue to next step. On this next step is where it introduces the align tool, where it says, <laughs> click the align tool. So first grab all the, the letters, and then click on the align tool up here in the corner. Now it doesn't really show you an arrow. That's the one thing I wish it did. Um, the old ones used to show that outline, but I can click and align and I won't go through the whole thing, but that, that's what it's teaching you step by step. And then go even further. Down at the very bottom of this page are more videos. Here's the center one, which is Tinker Tips Playlist. I highly recommend you, you watch that if you're new. There's actually quick overview videos and then some 3D printing with Tinkercad. Those are older ones. This Tinker Tips, this center one is fantastic to just go through. I'll link to it in this video, in the description of this video. And then there's actually a YouTube channel. Tinkercad's got its own YouTube channel that you can go to and check out. They have various tips. Some are silent. Some are actually talk. But this is all here under the learn menu that you probably didn't even know was there. If you did, fantastic. But those that are new or kids starting out, do this. So there you have it. A little helpful tip or trick 
to learning Tinkercad. So if you like this, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to check out some of my other videos, just click on them over here. If you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon. If nothing else, click on my logo and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.